Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a video that Dave Dugdale posted. Um, he's been posting about this issue that he's having with this uh, 6500 where um, whenever he's panning or just using the uh, OSS, the image stabilization, the whole image just goes just goes insane. And um, he posted a video and uh, he was asking, you know, if people were having the same issue. So I tried to do the same. I tried to, repro um, I tried to reproduce. <laughs> I tried to reproduce. Here we go. Um, the exact settings and the exact panning and all that stuff that he was doing with my two 6500s. But um, I did not manage to create that effect. But I did find out some other issues while doing so. And please subscribe to my channel because next week I'm going to show you how to do some crazy, crazy close-up macro intense uh, 4K macro. And um, yeah, so stay tuned, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you have some issues with the, the Sony bodies or lenses. Okay, now chat chat. And I want to show you what I try to do to reproduce the same thing. And um, yeah, I just couldn't really get it. I did get those weird little shakes that, you know, I think the Sony is trying to compensate for. Rolling shutter and all that stuff, but um, some of the times, like here it was fine, nothing happened. I, try, I then tried the 85 millimeter on a gimbal, which was very shaky, and um, I did get some, you know, weird little wobbly thing. But considering that the, the gimbal was shaking a lot, um, I don't think it's that bad. That's good, uh, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Camera number one. Look at it for a second. ISO 100 in the gimbal. Um, so I didn't manage to reproduce, like I said, the exact problem that Dave had. Uh, he probably has a you know malfunctioning one, so hopefully he's going to be able to get it uh, swapped out or, or fixed uh, by Sony. But um, I want to talk about other problems that I've, I've been having with Sony and Sony lenses. Um, here's a Sigma for Sony lenses, and this is my second one. The first one that I bought actually uh, would not focus. It was just, you know, it would just stop focusing when I wasn't continuous focusing. So I sent it back to Amazon and uh, Amazon and um, got a new one recently used and um, I like it, it's very, very sharp, but um, here's the footage that I did, and uh, you can see that the when, you when you're when you on uh, face detection and continues focusing, it hunts. It's just, it goes back and forth really fast trying to focus, but it makes the whole background, you know, shake a bit. But that's one problem that I had with the Sigma, which is a shame because I bought this for 90 euros, and uh, I thought it was a good deal, and it's an amazing lens. Um, but even during, even for photography, it was a problem. It does hunt really quick and continues focusing and until it finds the point, you know, until it finds focus. So another problem. Um, I bought this lens used on Amazon again and uh, I thought it was doing fine until I bought another one. I found out that it was super, super slow. This one focuses a lot faster than this one. I have some footage here that you can see and uh, hopefully it's going to give you an idea of what a lens, you know, the speed of this lens, the speed that this lens should be having. Um, so yeah, that's another problem. And I could not change with this lens, the 18-55, the AF speed and the AF strike sensitivity. Um, it was stuck, uh, as you can see here, I just could not change anything. So that's one thing you need to make sure that you check when you're testing out a new lens. I tried both my bodies, both 6500s, and uh, it was just with this lens. So another issue that I had with Sony lens is this. I tried the 18 to 200. The guy who, was, who sold me this one had it. So I tried it on and um, here's some footage from it. I could focus fine up close with this lens, but once I try to focus further, um, it would not focus not even close to being able to focus. It was just not focused as if it was stuck. Um, I tried again and again. See, up close it's fine. And um, I was in continuous auto focus. You know, when you're trying to use lenses or even new lenses, you need to, you need to check a few things. You, need, you really need to check the focusing 
put it on autofocus, you know, put your hand in front of it, back and forth, and uh, see if, the, you know, it can focus fast, quick, check if there's any, you know, dust inside by closing the aperture and shooting, you know, up in the sky um, to see if there's, you know, spots everywhere. Uh, you really need to check those things because you will have some surprises once you get home, which I had. I bought the, I know, I'm stupid, but I bought the 28 F2 full frame uh, from the same guy and um, it worked fine. I, I tested out against the Sigma in autofocus and face detection and it worked fine until I started filming my um, last video and uh, I realized that it could not focus on my face after a certain distance. Uh, you can see here in the footage that I'm showing you right now that yeah, it just could not focus. It was just hard. Uh, it was just, it would not focus on my face. So it's hot. I'm not even sure that it's focused on my face right now. I'm actually a bit scared, but uh, yeah, my point is guys, sorry to, I did not want to drag this on, but Sony cameras are awesome, but there's so many little things that are f frustrating. Um, one other thing is the black magic uh, video assist. Once you set it on and you have it on 4k, um, the face detection do not work. Um, some other guy, I just watched a video online, um, found a way around with the A7, A7S, but with the A6500, I could not get this function to work. So when I'm recording a 4K, I cannot have a monitor to assist me, which is it's, it's just crap. Um, anyway, okay, that's it for this video. I'm sorry I dragged this on a bit longer than I thought I would, but I wanted you guys to know, um, you know, those problems with the Sony. And I also have, oh, here we go. And one other thing is the flickering. I bought those big video bulbs that, you know, they're 50 watt. They said that it's 135 watts, but it's actually 50 watts bulb um, for my studio, you know, to, to, to light my scenes and everything. But I noticed that the Sony, once you start panning a bit too fast, you start seeing the flickering. Once you stop, it flickers for some reason. You can see the, it's those flickering from, you know, the, the light frequency. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. If you guys have that issue too, let me know. I haven't tried it on both my, um, my A6500, but um, yeah, I found that out where I was trying to figure out if we could, you know, do some slow-mo um, with um, those bulbs, but apparently not. So that's it for this video. I'm sorry that I dragged it on a bit longer than I thought it would, but um, I wanted you guys to know that bit of knowledge that I've acquired um, in the past three months of owning those, uh, those two cameras. And please subscribe to my channel because next week I'm gonna show you how to do some crazy, crazy close-up macro intense uh, 4K macro. And um, yeah, so stay tuned, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you have some issues with the, the Sony bodies or lenses. Uh, I'll be happy to hear about that because I'm really debating on whether I should, you know, maybe get a pa Panasonic GH5, it looks amazing. And uh, that's it, I'll see you next week and uh, stay tuned.